Cancer Staging, Wikipedia Article Audio Cancer staging is the process of determining the extent to which a cancer has developed by growing and spreading. Contemporary practice is to assign a number from I to 4 to a cancer, with I being an isolated cancer and 4 being a cancer which has spread to the limit of what the assessment measures. The stage generally takes into account the size of a tumor, whether it has invaded adjacent organs, how many regional lymph nodes it has spread to, and whether it has appeared in more distant locations. Cancer staging can be divided into a clinical stage and a pathologic stage. In the TNM system, clinical stage and pathologic stage are denoted by a small c or p before the stage. This staging system is used for most forms of cancer, except brain tumors and hematological malignancies. TNM staging system Considerations Because they use different criteria, clinical stage and pathologic stage often differ. Pathologic staging is usually considered to be more accurate because it allows direct examination of the tumor in its entirety, contrasted with clinical staging which is limited by the fact that the information is obtained by making indirect observations of a tumor which is still in the body. However, clinical staging and pathologic staging often complement each other. Not every tumor is treated surgically. Therefore pathologic staging is not always available. Also, sometimes surgery is preceded by other treatments such as chemotherapy and radiation therapy which shrink the tumor, so the pathologic stage may underestimate the true stage. Correct staging is critical because treatment is generally based on this parameter. Thus, incorrect staging would lead to improper treatment. For some common cancers the staging process is well defined. For example, in the cases of breast cancer and prostate cancer, doctors routinely can identify that the cancer is early and that it has low risk of metastasis. In such cases, medical specialty professional organizations recommend against the use of PET scans, CT scans, or bone scans because research shows that the risk of getting such procedures outweighs the possible benefits. Some of the problems associated with overtesting include patients receiving invasive procedures, overutilizing medical services, getting unnecessary radiation exposure, and experiencing misdiagnosis. Pathologic staging, where a pathologist examines sections of tissue, can be particularly problematic for two specific reasons, visual discretion and random sampling of tissue. Visual discretion means being able to identify single cancerous cells intermixed with healthy cells on a slide. Oversight of one cell can mean missed aging and lead to serious, unexpected spread of cancer. Random sampling refers to the fact that lymph nodes are cherry-picked from patients and random samples are examined. If cancerous cells present in the lymph node happen not to be present in the slices of tissue viewed, incorrect staging and improper treatment can result. New Highly sensitive methods of staging are in development. For example, the mRNA for GCC, present only in the luminal aspect of intestinal epithelium, can be identified using molecular screening with a high degree of sensitivity and exactitude. Presence of GCC in any other tissue of the body represents colorectal metaplasia. Because of its high sensitivity, RT-PCR screening for GCC greatly reduces underestimation of disease stage. Researchers hope that staging with this level of precision will lead to more appropriate treatment and better prognosis. Furthermore, researchers hope that this same technique can be applied to other tissue-specific proteins. Pathologic 
staging systems are specific for each type of cancer. Some cancers, however, do not have a staging system. Although competing staging systems still exist for some types of cancer, the universally accepted staging system is that of the UICC, which has the same definitions of individual categories as the AJCC. Systems of staging may differ between diseases or specific manifestations of a disease. Current Research For solid tumors, TNM is by far the most commonly used system, but it has been adapted for some conditions. Overall stage grouping is also referred to as Roman numeral staging. This system uses numerals I, II, III, and IV to describe the progression of cancer. Within the TNM system, a cancer may also be designated as recurrent, meaning that it has appeared again after being in remission or after all visible tumor has been eliminated. Recurrence can either be local, meaning that it appears in the same location as the original, or distant, meaning that it appears in a different part of the body. Systems Stage migration describes change in the distribution of stage in a particular cancer population induced by either a change in the staging system itself or else a change in technology which allows more sensitive detection of tumor spread and therefore more sensitivity in detecting spread of disease. Stage migration can lead to curious statistical phenomena. Blood Solid Overall stage grouping Stage migration Clinical stage is based on all of the available information obtained before a surgery to remove the tumor. Thus, it may include information about the tumor obtained by physical examination, blood tests, radiologic examination, biopsy, and endoscopy. Pathologic stage adds additional information gained by examination of the tumor microscopically by a pathologist after it has been surgically removed. Breast cancer In breast cancer classification, staging is usually based on TNM, but staging in I4 may be used as well. Cervical and ovarian cancers, the FIGO system has been adopted into the TNM system. For premalignant dysplastic changes, the CIN grading system is used. Colon cancer, originally consisted of four stages, A, B, C, and D. More recently, colon cancer staging is indicated either by the original AD stages or by TNM. Kidney cancer, uses TNM. Cancer of the larynx, uses TNM. Liver cancer, uses TNM, lung cancer, uses TNM, melanoma, TNM used. Also of importance are the Clark level and Breslow depth which refer to the microscopic depth of tumor invasion, prostate cancer, TNM almost universally used, testicular cancer, uses TNM along with a measure of blood serum markers, non-melanoma skin cancer, uses TNM, bladder cancer, uses TNM. Stage 0, carcinoma in situ, stage I, cancers are localized to one part of the body. Stage I cancer can be surgically removed if small enough, stage 2, cancers are locally advanced. Stage 2 cancer can be treated by chemo, radiation, or surgery. Stage 3, cancers are also locally advanced. Whether a cancer is designated as stage 2 or stage 3 can depend on the specific type of cancer. For example, in Hodgkin's disease, stage 2 indicates affected lymph nodes on only one side of the diaphragm, whereas stage 3 indicates affected lymph nodes above and below the diaphragm. The specific criteria for stages 2 and 3 therefore differ according to diagnosis. Stage 3 can be treated by chemo, radiation, or surgery. 
Stage 4. Cancers have often metastasized, or spread to other organs or throughout the body. Stage 4 cancer can be treated by chemo, radiation, or surgery.